Yeah, what up, gamers? In case you didn't know, it's your boy Solid or KDOT. Bring you another game of Modern Warfare 3. We got Team Deathmatch on uh, Outpost. Our primary weapon, the PP90M1. Secondary FMG9, because that's all there is. Rock that secondary, kids. Uh, perks. I'm rocking blind eye. Yeah, I actually am blind in a, my left eye, sadly. Took a archer, archery class. And I tried to shoot the apple off my head, so I can't see out my left eye. True story. Also, I have a hard line. I'm rocking that. And, of course, a Stalker Pro. Gotta have at least one Pro perk in there. My kill streaks: the UAV, Predator Missile, and Precision Airstrike. And uh, for today's commentary gamers, I'm going to talk about college. Like I said, I've been at college now for, uh, what is it, like five, six months now. And it's crazy. Let me just tell you, it's crazy. So, I hope this series helps you gamers out. Gets you prepared for your future college career. Whether it be four year or two year. So, alright. You're going to college. Day one. Here we go. You picked your school. You're like, alright. Here we go. I'm going to... I'm going to... To Penn State. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyway, you got your dream school figured out, you picked it out, it's your college, you're ready. You know, you got your friends maybe going there, you want to go chill with them. Your girl, I don't know, whoever's going there that you might know, you got your college. Maybe you're interested in chasing after your career, your dream job, and this college got everything you need to be a movie star, or a famous singer, actor. Then you're going to do it, you got to go after it. So, day one, you got to move in. Move in is the biggest bitch of the whole thing whole college experience moving in pain in the ass luckily I'm on the first floor so it wasn't too bad but uh you know you could be way up on the sixth floor that means you got to get in an elevator with 12 other people half of them stink because they're sweating to death haven't showered because you're moving in probably in the you know in the spring when it's hot so everyone's sweating you get all your stuff all your bags and then then you gotta get up to your room, take that stuff in there. Everyone's just, you know, nervous. No one knows each other yet. People are all like, oh, hi, how are you? How you doing? Hi, I'm so-and-so. And you're just like, dude, just let me get to my room, all right? We can talk later. Peace out, you know what I'm saying? So you finally get to your room, open that, open that door up, and you're like, oh my god, this room is not big enough for two people. No way. You look at your stuff, get it in, get set up, and you meet your roommate. Luckily for me, I knew my roommate, so it wasn't too bad. But if you don't know your roommate, you know, that's like, you gotta figure out who's your roommate. You gotta try to meet with them, that'll definitely help. You know, find out what they like, what they don't like. If they listen to, you know, Screamo at 3 in the morning when you're trying to sleep, that could be a problem. That could be a big problem come finals, which we'll get to that in another video. So, after, you know, after you meet your roommate, hopefully you're all cool, you know, you chill, hang out, you become best, you're gonna become best, best bros, pretty much, you're gonna do everything together, this is college, college life, so, alright, you got that, you start unpacking your stuff, now, to decide to keep the beds as bunk beds, or take them apart, I recommend taking them apart, because, you know, if you're scared of heights, you're not going to want to be on the top bunk, especially if you're going to roll off. And these beds, let me tell you what, they're not beds, they're cots. They're little, little, like, hammocks. But no, not even hammocks, because hammocks are actually comfortable. These things are like little cocoons. They're, it's like a board. You're sleeping on a wooden board and it sucks. Let me tell you what, it's horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> that's, that's what you gotta, you gotta learn to live with it. That's what college is all about, learning to live with other people, learning new experiences, meeting new people, and uh, trying some of the worst food in your life, kids. The worst. Trust me. You will lose weight. Amazingly enough, I dropped almost 40 pounds. Yes, this, this is no lie. This is real life. I, and I'm not blind in my left eye. I'm sorry, I lied about that, but this is real. I lost uh, almost 40 pounds just from eating this food. It's the worst stuff. No, right away, 
this college found out that they put like laxatives in the meat and they do that so you don't get a uh, so the meat's not undercooked and you don't like sue them or something so uh, the bathroom sort of comes your your best friend and uh, <laughs> another thing with the bathroom they're uh, well, I'll get back to that but the food you're gonna find is the dining hall is probably one of the worst places on campus the people there are weird as hell most of them scary like I'm talking like circus freak scary which is like the worst kind of freak there is you know they're just like staring at you drool coming out of their mouth into the food and you're just like yeah I'll take whatever that is right there and then always check kids always check the cups Let's put drinks in you know cups I'm not talking the red party cups no I'm talking the cafeteria cups also silverware you never know when you might find a, a booger or some dirt inside your cup. And that'll just gross you out. That'll scar you for the rest of your life, kids. The rest of your life. <laughs> but, so, once you, you know, after about a month, you know, your final, your body gets used to the horrible food that you're forced to, forced to eat and take in. And you start to realize that, alright, this isn't too bad. It's just horrible food. Then we get to uh, your teachers. Well, we'll start off with the history teacher. And uh, you'll find that after about an hour of his class, most history class, I think about two hours, that he starts to sound like a Charlie Brown's teacher, Snoopy, you know, Snoopy's teacher. And it sounds like this wah, 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 wah. And you're just like, shut up, man, come on. All you do is talk. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, okay, I got you. I understand. Yes, right. Uh, George Washington. Wah, 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 wah. <sighs> That's the worst. Let me tell you what. If you get a teacher like that, just take your laptop and record. You know, use the record. And just record what he says. Listen to it later. Maybe with some music in the background or something to help drown him out. I don't know. You got to figure that out on your own. So. Oh, man course back to the bathroom because now you know you ate you had your history now the bathrooms these places are almost as bad as cafeteria probably a little cleaner actually because you know you have people that are janitors cleaning them and there's you probably have the nicest like janitor in the world ours uh, her name's Sandy Sandy she's mad she's the bomb She's awesome. She, she, the janitor there will become like your mom. Take care of you. Help you out. And let me tell you what. They work hard for their money. Those janitors in those dorms. But one night, I don't know what happened. It was like an alien was born in the stall. And I'm not talking number two. I'm talking like like a crime scene murder. Someone just bleh, threw up everywhere. And it was like in four different stalls. And I felt bad. This lady was up at like 7 in the morning. So I got up, have early classes. I'm a freshman. And I'm like, Sandy, good morning. She's like, yeah, the bathroom's closed. Blah, blah, blah. Someone someone died in here, she said. And I was like, holy cow. It was that bad. So, uh, kids, you know, just, just be prepared. You're going to see some gross stuff. You know, not just at parties, but actual inside your dorm. Especially in the bathrooms. It's just like, whoa. Did not expect that. And uh, also, always be prepared for horrible weather. I recommend an umbrella. Definitely, you know, if your parents say, oh, would you like an umbrella? Or here, take the umbrella. Say yes. Just take it. Because when it starts pouring down rain, and you got a 9 o'clock class, you're going to wish you had that umbrella. Just take it. Trust me. Everyone's going to have it. It might not be the coolest thing to have, but just do it. Just do it. Nike, where's my... Where's my ad? Like, you just do it. And, not to mention, you know, now your day's finally through. First day, moved in, met your roommate, had some gross food, maybe took a shower, met the nice janitor. Now it's, it's time to get ready for bed. And of course there's going to be noise, and you're not going to know what it is. You'll just hear thuds, boom, and you're not going to have a clue. Alright, gamers. Until next episode of College Life, keep it easy. Super fast mode, because I didn't get the last final kill. Kills, 20, assists, 5, deaths, 4.
keeping it real. New videos every Sunday.